Certified Translation for the U.S. Immigration We prepared this video presentation based on our experience with our clients who came to us to get certified translation of their documents, so it shouldn't be considered as a legal advice. You will need certified translation of your documents for two purposes. One is to get your green card, and the second one is to get your U.S. citizenship. You need to submit your certified translation to the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, formerly called Immigration and Naturalization Service, INS, in the past. What kind of documents do you need to have translated and certified for USCIS? Most importantly, your birth certificate. In some European and Latin American countries, it is also called Certificate of Baptism. In some states of India, non-availability of birth certificate and supply certificates are popular in cases where no birth certificate has been issued when the child was born. You will need certified translation of your marriage certificate if you are married. In some Far East countries, this certificate is also called family register or house register. Marriage con contract term is used in many Arabic countries. You will need to have certified translation of your divorce decree if you got a divorce in the past. Due to increased security control by the U.S. government agencies such as customs, you may be asked to get the certified translation of your police clearance or criminal record. A postil is an international certification issued by the public agency that also issued your civil registration document. How can you send your documents to us? The best way is to get scanned copy of your document and attach it to your email to us. Try to limit the file size by using most popular PDF or JPEG. Try to keep your file size under 10 megabytes as your email server may not be able to handle file sizes over certain limits. If you scan in black and white, some fine prints, small letters, and handwritten information and data may not be readable. Try to scan in grayscale. If your scanned copy is still not very readable, then you may try color mode. What can you do if you don't have a scanner? You may go to one of the nearest office supply stores such as Office Depot, Staples, Kinko's, or similar other places to get professional scanning for few dollars. Ask them to email the scanned copy to your email address so that you can save it in your computer for future use again. Then you simply forward the scanned copy to us in the attachment of your email. The second option is faxing your documents to us. Please note that most fax copies are in black and white in a very low resolution. Fine prints, small letters, and handwritten information may not be readable when faxed. Once you send us a copy of your document, you will receive our free code by email within three minutes. You will know our fee and time to complete your translation. We complete most translations within 24 hours. How to make your payment? You can make your payment by any credit, debit, or ATM card in a secure environment. Payment by e-check from your checking account takes about 3 to 5 business days. You may make your payment to PayPal. You don't need to become a member of PayPal to make your payment. Upon your payment, you will receive a notification of payment from PayPal and we will also confirm your payment as well. This simple process may take less than one minute. I hope you find this information helpful and contact us for certified translation of your documents for the U.S. immigration. Thank you.